Hola mundo, yo me llamo señor Bellas y en esta lección vamos a hablar del subjuntivo y el indicativo. Uh, so we're going to look at the subjunctive and indicative here in this video. Uh, this, I have several videos on this topic uh, with different uses of the subjunctive indicative and when to use which one. This is just one of the other ones. So if you want extra practice when you're done, feel free to search YouTube for Senior Bellis uh, subjunctive, and I'm sure you can get a bunch of different stuff there. Uh, this uh, document that you're looking at right now on the screen is available to you in the description of my video if you want to open it up and print it off or take notes or uh, handwrite your answers in the activity that I'll be giving you in just a minute, uh, you can do that. It is available to you. And also the links um, up here at the top, those are going to be live on that document if you need those. So the expressions that we're going to be using in this, in this lesson are over here on the top left. Cuando, en cuando, hasta que, and tan pronto como. Uh, the most important thing that you want to think about when doing um, these activities I'm going to have for you, when you're having to choose between the subjunctive of the subjunctive and the indicative is doubt. You have to ask yourself, do these sentences have doubt? Or am I stating a fact or you know something that is certain? And if you can make that decision, then you can choose between the subjunctive or the indicative. I do want to remind you that the indicative is everything, pretty much everything that's not the subjunctive. So like the present tense, the future, the preterite, the imperfect, all those, those are all forms of the indicative. And then the subjunctive is is the subjunctive, it's everything else. So what I want you to do here is look at these uh, sentences, these four sentences, they're all very, very similar, but two of them use the subjunctive and two of them look at use the indicative, they're right here. And I'll explain why each one is the way it is. So let's look at the first one. Nadaran en el mar hasta que su madre llame. So that sentence would translate to, they will swim in the sea until their mom calls. Now the reason I put that sentence in the subjunctive, or the verb llamar, more specifically in the subjunctive, is because we don't know if their mom's going to call. Maybe she'll forget, maybe she'll lose her phone. There is a possibility that she won't call, so there's doubt, so I put it in the subjunctive. Let's look at the next sentence. Nadaron en el mar hasta que su madre llamó. So they swam, that's the preterite, in the sea until their mom called. So since I'm making a statement of fact, this happened, I'm going to put it into the indicative. Tres, naden en el mar hasta que su madre llame. So naden, if you're not sure, is an ustedes command. So I'm saying to a group of people, swim in the sea until your mom calls. So maybe those people won't go swim in the sea just because I'm commanding them to do it doesn't mean they'll do it. Or maybe their mom won't call. So there's a few th instances of doubt in that sentence. And then the last one, siempre naden en el mar hasta que su madre llama. So that one says, they always swim in the sea until their mom calls. So this is like stating something that happens often. Uh, it's just, it, it's a fact that they do this when this happens. There's no doubt that this takes place often. So since that's the case, it's going to be uh, the indicative. So down here, what I've got for you is 10 sentences. And some of these sentences, the verb at the end there is going to be in the subjunctive. And some of the sentences is going to be in the indicative. What you need to do is try and decide which one it should it be in and then conjugate the verb appropriately. And then I'll give you the answers here in just a moment. So if you want to do this activity, go ahead and pause the video. Or if you want to, you could even print it off and have it with you and handwrite your answers down. And uh, I'll give them to you in just a second. So pause the video. Here come the answers. You know what, the, the answers are on the second page. I think I'll just read this, read them with the sentence here for you so that uh, you can all kind of come together better. So number one, Wes usará la computadora hasta que su amigo llegue. That is the indicative because the sentence says, Wes will use the computer until his friend arrives. Uh, we don't know if he'll arrive. There's doubt, so subjunctive llegue. Dos, Jacob va a hacer la tarea cuando su madre salga de la casa. So Jacob's going to do the homework when his mom leaves the house. Maybe his mom won't leave. We don't know. So, salir is subjunctive, salga. Tres, Chris y yo fuimos al lago tan pronto como. So, this one says, Chris and I went to the lake as soon as uh, dawn, basically. So, I'm going to put this one in the preterite. Amaneció. Cuatro, Kevin siempre hace la tarea hasta que Tony habla. So, Kevin always does the homework until Tony speaks. So, this one's stating a fact. This is something that often happens. Present tense, indicative, habla. Cinco, Yo bailaré cuando la música empiece. This one that says, I will dance when the music begins. I don't know if the music's going to begin, so I put the subjunctive empiece. Seis, Austin tendrá una mala nota hasta que trabaje más. So Austin will have a bad grade until he 
until he works more. Maybe he won't work more. So there's there's doubt there, so it's subjunctive. Siete. Babi y yo anduvimos al parque tan pronto como nuestro perro terminó la comida. So we walked to the park as soon as our dog finished the food. We're stating facts. I put the verb in the preterite indicative. Terminó. Ocho. Todos los días tú preparas la cena cuando yo entro. So every day you you make you prepare you make dinner when I enter. This is again is stating a fact, something that uh, this happens often. So indicative present tense entro. Nueve. Los estudiantes estudiarán cuando el maestro diga que es importante. Students will study when the teacher says it's important. Maybe he won't say it. There's doubt there. Diga. Diez. Yo voy a hacer esta actividad tan pronto como yo tenga tiempo. I'm going to make this activity as soon as I have time. Maybe I'll never have time. So there's doubt there. Subjunctive tenga. So again, these answers are, are here for you on the next page. If you want to see them written off, they're down here. So you can have those available to you if you want them, along with their appropriate label of subjunctive or indicative. If you have any questions or doubts, uh, go ahead and leave a comment uh, on the video, and I will get back to you promptly. Otherwise, make sure to leave a like if you liked it, and uh, thanks for watching.